the Forest fans who will struggle to make themselves heard at pitch level from all the way up there, but they rise to their feet as their side comes out in red shirts, white shorts and red socks, led out today by Morgan Gibbs-White. Put your foot on the ball, they're trying to do that here as here's Gibbs-White, halfway inside the Newcastle half, gives it to Alanga on the edge of the box, and Alanga cuts in and hits a shot which uh, deflects, and it comes out for Gibbs-White, who drives it low, just wide of the target, and Gibbs-White hangs his head because he knows what a good chance that was from the edge of the box, just inside the box, Morgan Gibbs-White. Forward into uh, Botman, who turns nicely, and now Miley gives it to Sean Longstaff in the middle of the forest half and going leftwards and gives it to Anthony Gordon. Comes back to Miley, 25 yards out, feeds it through to Isak, who goes down, penalty. Isak with a quick lightning turn, Murillo was left a little bit flat-footed and isn't complaining. There are one or two Forest players questioning Chris Kavanagh's decision, but Alexander Isak has the chance to reach double figures for the season. Nine already, looking for his tenth from the penalty spot at the Gallagate end. He puts it low into the... well, not quite into the corner. But Matt Turner was going the other way. He ended up going the right way, Matt Turner. Sending it long, near Kate, chests it down ahead of Longstaff and strides forward through the Newcastle half, sends it in towards Alanga, who's trying to get in behind, and Alanga pulls the crossover to Matt Turner. And Turner clears again out to the right side for Montiel, who heads on towards Alanga. Alanga takes it in his stride to the right edge of the penalty area, into the box, tight angle, Tess Dubravka. Dubravka makes the save. Diving away to his right as he tried to look for the far post, Anthony Alanga. Not too much distance on it, although it has gone wide right. Isak goes and collects, takes on Danilo, gets past him easily, hits the byline, and sends it actually towards goal, top corner, near post. And Turner reacts to it and tucks it over his crossbar. I have no idea if Alexander Isak meant that, was trying something audacious or was trying to stand up across towards the back post yeah I think that's exactly what he was trying to do it's sort of come off his toe end and now Forrest try and break with Sangare finding Gibbs White Trippier tried to trip Gibbs White Gibbs White still goes on towards the edge of the box rolls it into Alanga tight to the six yard box squares it back and Chris Wood taps in Wood scores for Forrest what a break that was superb break one end of the field to the other and Forrest a level just before half time Wood scores as he returns to St James's Park. No celebration from Chris Wood, particularly out of respect to the home supporters here at Newcastle, but certainly congratulations from and for his teammates because that was a magnificent break. Trippier tried to stop Gibbs White in his tracks by tripping in. Gibbs White kept his balance, moved on uh, himself on the end of Sangare's little pass fed it through to Elanga, Elanga slid to cross as it was about to go across the byline but no suggestion that it was out of play and he's found Chris Wood a yard out, open goal as we start the second half yeah we're underway here and Forrest straight away breaking down the right hand side with Elanga's cross for Gibbs White flashing header goes just wide in the first few seconds of the second half Forrest almost catching Newcastle napping Gibbs White, flashing header from about eight yards out, goes across the face of goal and a couple of yards wide in the end. They are the uh, Forest substitutes as Wood here helps this on to Gibbs White, running towards the edge of the penalty area. Gibbs White stabs it on to Elanga, who side foots trying to catch to Bradford going the wrong way, but in the end, side foots it straight at Martin Dubravka. Forest chances in this second half are mounting up already. Indeed, great chance for Elanga. Just seen him put a couple of great shots here, great crosses in. Longstaff cut out by Danilo and Alanga is away. Alanga up to halfway, helps it on towards Wood. He's caught late, but Wood, left edge of the penalty area, gets on the end of it, beats one, chips it. Yes! Oh, what a finish! What a goal from Chris Wood! That's brilliant from the Forest striker. The former Newcastle man gets his second of the afternoon and puts Forest in front. Great run from Elanga, fantastic ball from Elanga in behind the defenders. 
and Wood with an awful lot to do. Tight angle, left edge of the penalty area, beat his man and then had to look up and chip it beyond Dubravka who was trying to close down the angle at his near post. But Wood found the far post. Lovely little delicate chipped finish from Chris Wood from the angle. And Forrest are 2-1 ahead at Newcastle, having started the second half brilliantly. They've had two or three chances already, and now Wood gives them the lead. Eight minutes gone, second half, 2-1 no Forrest. No more than they deserve. Great goal, and tell you what, it was a little bit of very, very good refereeing, because he could have pulled it back. Swaps passes with... Livramento now trying to get away from Sangare, has done, and rolls it right-hand side for Trippier, inside right channel, crosses, blocked by Turner. Turner gives it to Marilla. Marillo chips it forward and Chris Wood is on his own, down the inside left channel, Wood on a hat-trick, sidesteps to Bravka yeah. and thumps it in, Flags it's 3-1, the... the flag stays down, and Chris Wood's got a hat-trick. Marillo with a peach of a ball down the inside left channel and Chris Wood was all on his own. He was given the freedom of Newcastle and said thank you very much. I'll take that. Thumps it home from the inside left channel. It's a Chris Wood hat-trick on his return to St James's Park and Forrester 3-1 ahead after an hour's play at St James's. 1-0 down midway through the first half. One all in stoppage time, end of the first half. And in the first quarter of an hour of the second half, Chris Woods added two more goals and the Reds are 3-1 up away from home. Is this a check, Carl? Are they, I mean, is he checking for offside? Runs it away from the edge of the penalty area and now gives it to hudson Adoy. and Forrest might break again here. hudson Adoy gives it back to Gibbs-White. Gibbs-White inside left channel. Keeper comes halfway and then changes his mind. Gibbs White crosses. Elanga with one to beat. Ah, oh, miss hits it completely on his left foot and it bobbles into the arms of Dubravka. But at the moment he hasn't. And here comes Alexander Izak again. Scorer of the penalty that put Newcastle in front. He crosses back post. Aina heads away, not very far. Lewis Miley shoots wide. Matt Turner stood rooted to the spot. Hoping that ball went wide of his right-hand post. It did by some yards in the end. And away for a goal kick. And now Sangare has indeed gone down. He's now really labouring to get back, though, as Newcastle come forward with Gordon. And he gives it to his right for the little chip towards the back post. Comes for Isak. And the goalkeeper saves it. Might go loose. It's blocked by Niakate on the line just about. And then sent back towards goal. They're appealing for a penalty. Did Niakate save it with his hand? Surely VAR will have a look at it, but at the moment, yeah, the referee is just saying I need to wait. Nia Kate says, yeah, you can check it, puts his thumbs up. I think Nia Kate is confident it's going to be OK, and it's going to be a goal kick to Forrest. But Forrest were a little bit desperate, and they were desperate because Murillo had been caught out of position. And the Forest fans belt out Moll of Kintyre again. And the referee blows. And Forest have won a superb win.